how to add value to a real estate investment instantly and create instant value and equity in your pocket that can help you make thousands in a matter of months. Hey guys, my name is Jay Lehman. I talk all things real estate. I wanna to talk to you about a little hack that you can do to add value to your real estate properties very, very quickly. So one thing I like to do is I like to uh, target out of state property owners or property owners or landlords that have been landlords for a long time. They own a lot of properties and maybe they're tired of being a landlord, they're ready to cash out or they have vacant properties. Well, sometimes people are most motivated to get rid of properties that don't have a renter in them currently. And I love to find properties that for some reason or another, the renter moved out and now it's a vacant property. It's not trashed. It maybe need a little touch up here and there to get rent ready, maybe a thousand or two thousand bucks. But I buy that property because it's creating no cash flow. I get it for a discount. Let's say he wanted it for he wanted to sell it for 110000 I buy it cash as is for a hundred thousand dollars. And I got the loan from some uh, private lender. I buy it cash is for a hundred thousand dollars. I then call my management company and say, hey, let's spend a thousand bucks to get this thing rent ready and let's then get a tenant in there and let's rent it out for a fair market rent. And so they do that in two weeks, they get it rent ready, it takes another week to rent out, and instantly that property is more valuable, okay? Now I bought it for 100,000, let's say I put 2,000 in to get it rent ready, but I have a tenant in there. And now that tenant's paying $1,200 a month. So now I have an asset that is not only that is not only filled, but it's also spitting out cash flow. It's not only appreciating, it's spitting out monthly cash flow, I'm getting tax benefits from that. And it's professionally managed. So then I say, okay, let me repackage this to an investor and see how much they'll be willing to buy for it now that I fixed some problems with it, some minor details, and I got a tenant in there. Remember, it was vacant. And what's interesting is that you a lot of times can add instant value to the property just by doing those two things. But here's another thing. You can buy on price like I did. I bought it for $100,000 and then you can sell on terms. Now, what does that mean? Sometimes as an investor, you want to get price and terms, meaning you want the price that you want and the terms of the deal to be in your favor. But usually you got to pick one or the other, right? Either you over pay for the property but have favorable terms or you get a bargain on the property and you pay all cash. So I got a deal on this property because I paid cash on it, but I'd be willing to sell this somebody based on term favorable terms. For instance, let's say somebody comes and says, hmm, that's a good asset. I'd like to buy that at the 1% rule. Remember, I'm renting it out for 1200 bucks a month. So I say, okay, I'll sell it to you for $120,000. The only problem is the guy doesn't have any down payment money, right? Or he doesn't have the full down payment money, which would be $24,000 dollars at 20% down. So what I say is this, hey, you don't have down payment money. That's okay. What I'll do is this, is I will provide half of that down payment money with a $12,000 seller carry back note. Meaning this, he'll get a mortgage for approximately $96,000 because that's 80% of $120,000. And then I'll be in second position with a mortgage of $12,000 as well, which you'll have to pay me amortized over five years, but maybe with a balloon at three years where he owes me everything. But he also has to bring $12,000 to the table himself. So he's only gonna have to put 10% down because I'm financing the other 10%. So when this property closes, remember, he got the bank to give him 80%, and that's 96,000. He brought 12,000, that's $108,000, and I have a secondary mortgage for $12,000. So at closing, I'm gonna get a check for $108,000. Remember, I bought it for 100, I put $2,000 in, so I make $6,000 at closing. And then I have a secondary mortgage where he owes me over the next three years, $12,000 with a balloon payment, meaning it's all due during that time. So I'm gonna make roughly $4,000 a year off of this property without even owning it because I have this carry back note on it as a second mortgage. See, I bought it on price, put a renter in it. Now it becomes an asset. I sell it the 1% rule. I make $6,000 at the closing table. And then I also have a tail end on it with a second mortgage that the guy's going to pay me about $4,000 a year when it's all mapped out over time. And then I'm still making money on the property, even though I don't own the property. Now, this is a win-win for both parties. I make some money and my guy who didn't have, my other investor who didn't have the money to actually buy the property himself got a secondary loan from me to help him buy it. He won't cash flow as good the first three years, but he at least has that asset that he can start building equity in. And he did it by using creative financing. See, I bought it on price and sold it on terms. I make money, he gets the investment. This is a win-win all around. If you want more creative strategies, or great creative strategies yourself, could you comment below and let me know? I'm learning something new every day. Could you like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications because that brings a lot of value to the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching. Boom.